What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. I had a chance to get out into the garage with my son Judson and work on the solar cart again. In this episode, we're gonna go ahead and mount the motor, we're gonna mount the solar panel, we're going to mock up the chain and start getting things ready for the final episode. As a reminder, this project's not supposed to be pretty. This is a father-son project. It's supposed to be a learning opportunity and we wanna get this thing working and maybe later we can clean it up and make it prettier. It's been a little while since we worked on this project and as you can tell, Judson's kind of excited to get going. The first thing that we wanted to accomplish was to mount the motor to the back drive wheel so that we could get the chain mounted. The screws on the bottom of the motor were a little bit too wide for that piece of wood there so we had to build an adapter piece. So we grabbed a 2x4 and took some measurements of how big it needed to be. After cutting the board to length, we mounted it to the top of the axle with some screws. Then we got some washers and some fat head screws to hold that motor down in place. In the last few weeks since the last episode, we actually changed gears and went with some lithium batteries for the battery bank. Lester from Miller Tech reached out to us and offered to donate these batteries for our project. These are lithium iron phosphate batteries that are 20 amp hours and 12 volts. One of the cool things about these batteries is that they have a digital display on the front that will tell you the voltage with the press of a button. Miller Tech is a really cool company that I'm really excited to start working with on more projects like this. Lester is of the Mennonite faith, and while I don't know a whole lot about their faith, I do know that they kind of live a plainer lifestyle, a more simpler lifestyle than most of us do. So that means that Miller Tech does not have a website, but I am a distributor for them, so if you are interested in their batteries, let me know. Anyway, we don't have an enclosure for these batteries specifically, but we're going to go ahead and mock up where they need to sit on the go-kart itself. We'll just use this piece of wood that they're mounted on right now for the time being, and then at some point later we will design a box, probably out of wood, to hold these. We also grabbed the 100 watt semi-flexible solar panel and mounted it to the top canopy. With the panel mounted to the top, we could start to see where we needed to run the wiring, and the project also started to look like a real solar-powered car. And last but not least, we needed to mount the charge controller somewhere. This back post was a good place halfway between the solar panel and the batteries, so we screwed it in place and got it ready to be wired next time. So like I said before, this isn't going to win any beauty contests, but it will work, and next time we should be able to finish up the wiring and actually get it moving under its own power. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Don't miss the conclusion to this series. Make sure that you're subscribed and that you have notifications turned on.